Today it's a battle of the fitness belts. J Sculpt versus Sweet Sweat. Who will come out on top? If you're interested in either of these two fitness belts, just keep watching. Now that my little boxer intro is over, we're putting the J Sculpt and Sweet Sweat fitness belt slash sweatbands to the test. It's a new year. We're starting new regiments. We're starting new habits. One of mine is going to the gym to get myself motivated, I thought I would go ahead and buy myself a new fitness belt. Now because I was in the market for a new fitness belt, I went to my old and trusty Sweet Sweat. I've had this belt for over five years. I've actually had two. I've had this one for at least two to three years. But they're just very reliable, trustworthy, you know, they get the job done, they make you sweat. But I also saw this very new shiny gold j Sculpt belt that I had never used before. So I wanted to know which one was better. Obviously I went ahead and just bought the j Sculpt, but for you guys, I'll be trying out these two belts and reviewing them for you. Well, I've already done so, so we're gonna get into which belt might be better for you? Now you may be wondering, Desi, what do these belts even do? Like, what is it gonna do for me? How's it gonna help me? Well, these fitness belts are advertised as sweat belts. Now, whether you believe in targeted weight loss or not, they do enhance or promote the sweat in a specific area. In this case, it's around your waist. So you're going to be sweating more around your abdomen now I would say from my personal perspective, the Sweet Sweat is more of a traditional sweatband. The J Sculpt definitely has a waist cincher corset faha type of fit because it has less give, I'll say. Now while these belts are similar because they're supposed to promote the sweat and the enhanced weight loss in the waist area, they are very different when it comes to price, comfort, capability, sizing, shipping. So let's get right into it so you guys can pick the best belt that will fit your lifestyle. So let's go ahead and start off with the cheaper one, the one that's most accessible I would say for most people, which is the Sweet Sweat. And I say most accessible because you can go ahead and pick these up at a vitamin shop or GNC. So if you don't have an Amazon Prime or you don't have access to the internet, you can go out and buy these physically in the store. But they're also on Amazon Prime, which is extremely convenient. So let's get into the price. This belt ranges from $20.95 to $36.99, which I believe is a pretty good price range for something that's gone ahead and lasted me three years. They do put in some freebies for you when you buy your Sweet Sweat. They will include a free sample of their like sweat gel or their Sweet Sweat gel. And they'll also include a mesh bag for you to wash and carry around your belt in, which I thought was very nice and very convenient. It does include wash instructions. I thought this was, I didn't, I honestly took this for granted, but it is very important when comparing these two belts, how you're going to actually wash the belt because you want it to last a long time. It's an investment. Now if you want to go ahead and buy the enhancement gel, the larger size of the enhancement gel for the Sweet Sweat is around $28 on Amazon. Now I know that sounds a lot. I've had mine for like a while. I don't know when you're supposed to like switch that out. but. I don't see anything funky growing on it, so I've used it for like years now and I haven't run out still, so it definitely will last you for that amount of product. Now let's go ahead and move on to sizing for the Sweet Sweat Belt. The size ranges from small to extra extra large, which is a nice size range. Not all inclusive, but you get some pretty good sizes in between there. You will have to measure your waist to make sure that you're picking the right size. But with the Sweet Sweat, which is one of the cons, um, it's as tall as my face, which isn't very tall at all. Um, if your torso is as tall as my face, this is the perfect belt for you. And I guess these used to be a lot smaller in height, which is incredible because I feel like this is already very, very small. So that is one thing I think is a con with this belt. It's like I don't want like my tummy sticking out of the bottom of the belt, right? It's just not the look I'm going for. But 
you can go ahead and size up and that will give you more height of the belt or cover more of your midsection but then it will require you to cinch it in more and with that it does come with a velcro like latching mechanism i guess we'll call it when reviewing these two belts so the only way to secure this is with the velcro so let's get into comfort for the belt it's made out of neoprene it is very thick i'll try and right it's a pretty thick belt if you're wearing it you like and you have a shirt under you're going to be able to know that you have something under your shirt it's that thick so it's somewhat bulky for a fitness belt if you don't like bulky you may not like this belt but it's worth a shot because it is pretty affordable uh, like i said it does secure with velcro so there is velcro on it and as far as my personal comfort when you first get the belt, I believe I'm a medium, and I'll leave my sizing in the description along with a link to both of these belts. But I have a medium in this belt. I've noticed it does stretch out over time, not severely, but you will notice that it's stretching out over time and you're constantly having to like cinch it more in. And no, I haven't lost inches off my waist like that. So I know it's just stretching out over age. Now that we've gotten past the aesthetics and the comfort, let's get into the actual capability of the belt. Does it make you sweat? Absolutely. This belt will make you sweat um, a lot, actually. It will make you sweat to the point where like it might just kind of pour out of the belt after you're, if you take it off. Uh, it will soak your clothes. So just be careful, right? Because if you're hiking your leggings up and you've got your belt on, the sweat will seep under and then you have like this weird crotch tummy sweat happening. Uh, so yeah, that happens and it happens in the back too. So just something to look out for when you're using the belt, but it does make you sweat. It's doing its job, especially if you use their sweet sweat gel you can also use coconut oil there's a bunch of videos about alternatives to the sweet sweat gel so that's definitely something that you can use with this that will enhance the sweat but yes it does make you sweat it's very comfortable to wear although it's bulky and it will feel you will feel it when you're working out so if you're doing an ab exercise you're going to feel an extra layer there but i would say when doing like olympic weightlifting movements power lifting movements cardio ab movements it doesn't hinder your ability to complete the movement by constricting you to the point where your breathing is compromised and i say that because i had some experiences with the j sculpt where it was almost too tight where my breathing was compromised therefore i could not perform my exercises like i wanted to which made me not do the exercises so with this belt, I would say you can do cardio easily, you can power lift, you can Olympic weight lift, you can do hit, you can dance, you can run in this. I've done all of those in this belt and it's worked out perfectly fine. It's also nice because you can adjust it right away. So if it is too tight or it's too loose, you can quickly adjust it when you're doing those exercises and not take too much time taking it on and off because it's very easy to access the, the Velcro. Overall opinion, definitely add it to the collection if you're in the market for a new sweatband and you want to get something right away I would go ahead just add it to your fitness collection right now I think it's a great addition I have no regrets buying this belt I use it all the time at least two to three times per week I have this belt on it's very easy to clean very easy to wash and again I've had that big bottle of gel for a while now. You can get it on Amazon, so it's very convenient to buy. Like I said, you can also get it at GNC and your local vitamin shop. And like I said, this is my second belt, which I think is pretty good. And I didn't even have to get this second belt. My first one was damaged, so I just needed to get a new one. It wasn't damaged because of wear, it was damaged. I got mold in my apartment and it was like a whole thing, so I just threw it away um, because I didn't want mold on my body. But like I said, I think it's a great overall entry level fitness belt, waist trimmer in a way. It's not a waist shaper, so you're not, you're not gonna wanna wear this daily. You're gonna wanna wear this when you're working out. It's mainly for fitness and mainly for enhancing the sweat when you work out. 
so that's what I would use it for so if you're in the league for something that you can use daily to wear to wear under your clothes as a waist trimmer this would not be the belt I would go for but if you're looking for something that you can work out in I would definitely go ahead and get this belt. So now that we have the oldie and goodie out of the way, let's bring on the new shiny gold J Sculpt belts. Now I saw the J Sculpt belts, I think I believe I saw it on my Instagram first and then it started popping up all over my YouTube, um, like YouTube recommendations. So I got a little bit interested, I started watching some videos, there were some mixed reviews as far as sizing that was concerning to me and we'll definitely get into sizing here in this video. So when I looked at it I was very interested because it looked like a tighter fit. I liked that it had a zipper and the velcro strap to secure you in. You know it looked like it wouldn't stretch as much over time like my sweet sweat belt would. It's longer. If you just compare these in size, let me take this back, like the J Sculpt is almost twice as long as the Sweet Sweat belt and that's nice because it's covering my entire torso so like I don't want my tummy sticking out and with the J Sculpt it's definitely not sticking out. But let's go ahead and get into the same criteria we went over with the Sweet Sweat belt which we'll start off with price. The price of the J Sculpt, this specific one which I believe is the gold, was $59.99. Now they have lots of promotions going on all the time and I was able to get a 20% off coupon which dropped the price down to $48. But the shipping is not free and that is a $9.80 fee which brings it right back up to $57.80. I apologize for looking down but I've got all my prices here. So essentially you get the 20% off and it takes off your shipping cost kind of in a way and yeah and then it's just shipped to you now with that when it is shipped i believe they go through fedex i did have some trouble getting my belt but that is not on the j sculpt company that's more on fedex covid you know if you have call outs you know you don't have as many people delivering packages so my package was delayed but it honestly arrived a lot faster than i thought it would I was expecting it to arrive in a week. It was scheduled to deliver within like four or five days, um, but because of the delay, it ended up getting here exactly a week later after I ordered it, which was completely fine with me. Unlike the Sweet Sweat belt, it does not come with any add-ons, and I don't know if I was supposed to get some add-ons because I've seen some reviews where people got a little extra additions in their bag, but mine only came with the belt itself it didn't come with instructions on how to wash it it didn't come with a wash bag or a mesh bag to put it in and it also didn't come with any kind of gel or enhancing cream to use with it now let's jump into sizing the j sculpt belt is nice because it has a very inclusive range of sizing the j sculpt belt ranges from an extra small to a 6x so that's a nice range when you go on the website, they do help you size yourself. So they'll ask you what your waist measurement is in inches. Mine is a 33. And then they'll ask if your hips are two inches wider than your waist and you click yes or no. When I clicked yes, it recommended I size up to a large. Now, many reviews on YouTube will say, size up, don't go by the website. No, use the website, don't size up. They'll give you the right size. For me personally, this was a tight fit and I will cut to initial thoughts Desi from like two weeks ago when I received the belt and finally put it on, but oh man, that's a tight belt. Oh, this is going to be rough. How do people zip this up, like for real? The zipper just comes right out. There's like no latching mechanism. Oh, I see some um, design improvements that can be made. Oh. Um, don't know if you can see that I'm sweating now. It has like an uh, adjusting period because this is very uncomfortable. All right, it's on. I was not even able to really stretch out this Velcro part 
and it's a large this is crazy now I'm wondering should I have sized up the website they told me I should get a large but man that's tight and I know it's tight because it started to affect my breathing and I know it's tight because when I would sit down it would I just could not like I could not just sit down and just be comfortable this is why it reminds me a lot like a waist trimmer or waist shaper because those give you the same effect where you know you're sitting upright because you can't help it and your breathing is somewhat affected because you know you're being squeezed in a lot so when I initially put it on for my first workout I was like I don't know how this is gonna go just even driving to the gym with it on was kind of like am I about to pass out at the wheel type issue but we'll get into its capability a little bit later so I was able to get it on now getting it on itself is a hassle uh, it's not very intuitive it will take getting used to if you want to get this belt don't let this review steer you away from getting this belt I think it's a great belt I think it's made with great quality also but the sizing can it seems to be somewhat of an ongoing issue from what I'm seeing on YouTube and what I'm experiencing personally I would go ahead and if I were to recommend this to someone like my mom I would say use their website and then size up one size for a comfortable a more comfortable fit it's still gonna be really tight based off of that size now let's get into comfort to me it is not very comfortable as a fitness belt I will say I do think it is a great waist shaper belt but as a fitness belt I don't know if I would put it in as comfortable as a fitness belt the sweet sweat is a comfortable belt you know you can adjust it very easily the J sculpt you can't adjust it you can only adjust this velcro part but after you zip yourself in like there's not a lot of breathing room if you already were struggling with the zipper portion which I was definitely struggling with the zipper portion so what I noticed is you're really gonna have to like tug the two zipper sides together hold both of them with one hand and then ease the zipper up because if you let it go it will just kind of open up also depending on how tight it is don't let it catch your tummy hair yeah no matter how tiny it will take that right off just a warning I actually decided to so I, after I put it on the first time I was like not gonna make the same mistake so the next morning I put on a uh, undershirt like a tank top ripped it like a hole in it <laughs> so just be careful with the zipper piece now the inner is a hundred percent cotton outer is a hundred percent latex the, it feels a very nice quality it feels like it will last you years to come it doesn't seem like anything will break all the stitching looks just fine even just the lettering here looks fine like it's not coming off but I didn't receive like any kind of wash instructions so I don't know how to take care of it really I'm gonna have to look that up as far as my comfort the material feels fine the material feels great quality like on you but again it's very tight so I couldn't even finish my workout with it on I actually had to stop my workout take it off because I just I it was too uncomfortable for me to finish so this belt will need a break-in period obviously your intention is to lose inches off your waist so it will become more comfortable but in general straight of the package this needs a break-in period and I would not suggest this is coming from my personal opinion Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, too much bend over type movements. I would really suggest you just walk in this for the first couple of weeks that you have it, doing some jump rope in this possibly, and then working your way into other movements because when you initially put it on, it may just be too tight for you to actually get a good workout in that's effective. Um, and then it may just discourage you because it discouraged me after I was like I'm taking this off and then it's like hard to take off because you can't just like unvelcro you gotta like zip it down you don't want to catch your tummy hairs when you zip it down or like rip your t-shirt because it's so sucked in tight to your skin so just be mindful with the sizing and I believe your comfort will be better 
So if you size up, I believe you'll have a more comfortable experience, but I would suggest breaking this belt in slowly with your routine rather than just trying to full out do, you know, a hit and squat day with it and you're gonna get, after your warm up, you're probably gonna end up taking it off. So just ease into it with some walking, light jogging, and some jump rope, and I think you'll be okay after a few weeks. Now let's get into capability. For the J-Sculpt, not as capable as the Sweet Sweat Belt, just because it is so tight. It doesn't have boning like you would on your waist trimmers or waist cinchers, but it is like a, I don't know what this material is. It's like its own kind of boning, but it's not very like stringent, I would say. Like it's somewhat flexible. That's why I say you would need a break-in period for this. As far as capability, I would say just start working in walking, light jogging, and some jump ropes. Stuff that's very upright because going straight into abs with this or straight into some heavy lifting with this is probably not the best idea. One, it's very hard to sit down in because it's so tight um, and you don't want your breathing to be affected when you're doing weightlifting type movements because it's only, you might hurt yourself, you might even pass out depending on the weight that you're lifting. Now on the website, it does say high intensity cardio. It also says daily use. So I would say like you could use this as a daily waist cincher just throughout your day, but you, it's kind of bulky in the sense that it's got this extra Velcro strap. But if I were trying to practice I would use this. I would just make sure I have like a baggy shirt under because people are going to be able to tell what you have under it. Now my overall experience, it is a bit too tight for me as a fitness trainer. If I'm going for a waist cincher or waist trainer, I'm using the J Sculpt over the Sweet Sweat. If I'm going to the gym, I'm taking my Sweet Sweat belt with me as my number one. Now I do want to continue using the J Sculpt because I invested some money into it. I want to use it. I think the fit will start to loosen up as I use it more. But in general, because it didn't come with instructions, because the sizing seems to be a tad bit off, I'm gonna give my overall to the sweet sweat. Woo! Just because we're talking about fitness belts, I am gonna give it to the Sweet Sweat because it seems more of a fitness belt. Thank you for making it this far in the video. I really do appreciate you guys for watching and hopefully you found this review helpful, especially when picking out your new fitness belt or waist shaper for the future. If you like this video, make sure you share it with a friend if they'd find it interesting and like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here, part of my family. I'll catch you guys in my next one.